cross watcher you are also welcome here these messages are general general messages do not resonate with everyone okay so please take what belongs to you leave all the rest behind okay remember energies are fluid right so these messages that come up they could be for the past they could be a reflection of what's currently going on in your scenario or it may be some um, energies that will come up later on in the future it may not be you it may be someone that you're energetically connected to it could be you know family or friends okay so again only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind so Virgo I hope you guys are doing well let's go ahead and get into your reading First card I have for you is from the world of, I'm sorry, the wisdom of Oracle. <laughs> between worlds. Okay, so between worlds, it's a number three. Okay. Um, if you can see on this card, this flamingo is wearing a crown. There's a butterfly here stepping out of stormy um, times, cloudy, unclear times, looking forward to a brighter day, right? Crown and tap. Um, you have gone through some type of transition, some type of transformation here. Um, you're leaving this behind, this cloudiness, this um, unclarity, you know, this um, time of um, uncertainty, right? A time of, I don't know, um, rough waters. Whatever it was for you, it was dark. And you're leaving that time behind. You're stepping into a brand new day, a bright sunny day with blue skies, clear waters, crown intact, and you are ready for your new cycle here. Okay, so this is not a time to, because it's a brand new world, right? It's not a time to uh, make assumptions or to feel like, you know, we know what's going to happen or whatever. This is a time to go with the flow, to experience life, to welcome and embrace the, a brand new time, right? Enjoy it, right? Um, don't be so rigid in your thinking. Um, just explore this new time and enjoy it. It's definitely bright skies ahead. Moving on into your reading here. In the middle of the spread, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands. Okay, so that's all about dropping your guard and making a decision, right? I say making a decision because he has his one hand on um, the Ace of Wands here. Making a decision to go forward in um, something new. And he has a miniature globe of the world here in his hand, right? So I feel like this is you dropping your guard and making a decision to go on a new path here. Um, some of you guys at work, um, work might be stressing you out or the people at work. The people at work may be um, getting on your nerves, stressing you out. Don't let them, okay? Um, this eight of swords here, you know, you have the blindfold on here and it's like, you don't, you don't even want to know. You don't even want to pay them any mind. It's like, you're like, whatever. Okay. Um, but sometimes we got to take off the blindfold so we could see what's coming. Right. I feel like this is, um, you know, all about work collaborations. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some gossip, maybe a learning curve here. Um, but outside of that, I mean, this is a great read here. I have, this is a great spread here. I have the Ace of Cups with the King of Cups. Um, someone 
offering you a, a cup of love here that is overflowing, right? Someone's um, being offered that. Someone's real serious about you, uh, Virgo. And I see you happily accepting the offer here with the Page of Cups and the Sun. Whatever this offer is, it's making you super, super excited. It might be a new job. It may be um, an emotional offer. You know, um, I feel like it's more in the emotional arena here. Um, and, um, a relationship or uh, some type of connection. Yeah, but there's love and happiness all over this board. We have the Ten of Cups here with the Two of Swords uh, reversed. That is making a decision also okay making a decision to accept the offer because it's you it's, you feel like it's going to provide you with the ten of cups emotional fulfillment ultimate emotional fulfillment here long-term relationships this has to do with um happiness and um grand emotional uh, fulfillment here with this two of swords upright, it usually speaks of a, this um, coming to a crossroad or, you know, maybe blocking or um, coming to a time where you have to make a decision of which way to go. But um, both of these, the two of swords in reverse and the two of wands here, tells me that you've made a decision to accept this offer and to go forward. And then we have the sun again clarifying the ace of wands here. You know, like I said, the two of wands, the gentleman, um, the little guy here, and it doesn't matter the gender. It could be female or male, has his hand on a wand here with the globe in his hand. And he's made a choice, right? That's going to move forward with that ace of wand that he's holding is right here. It's a gift from God, right? It's a gift from source spirit universe god whatever you want to label it whatever you know whatever you want to label it but the sun is here the sun is here and on here you know this could be a you know um an emotional bond that is um connected through source because we have the red you know, the the red um, curtain or this red cloth here, which is a symbolization of that tie to love, right? It's coming all the way from the sun. Sun is source, right? It's happiness. You know, some of you guys might let your freak flag fly. I don't know why I got that <laughs> with the ace of wands. But whatever it is, it's making you happy. It's making the other person happy. This is all happiness here, okay? Next, we have the magician with the ace of pentacles. Like, Virgo, you're doing the doggone thing. You're manifesting a new opportunity. But not only a new... Op you've manifested a new opportunity, but not only a new opportunity in love. It's a stable new offer right it's a it's stability this is a huge pentacle this may be about business again not only have you made the decision to go ahead and um accept this offer or offer love to someone else you want to manifest stability you want to manifest um your finances you know huge finances and again, if there's some type of something going on at work, you know, you have all the tools and resources at your disposal to make it turn and work in your favor here. It can work in your favor. Take off the blindfold. Check out what's going on. Check out what's, what, I, what the buzz is about, you know. And be authentically you using the tools Every tool that you need is right here at your disposal to create some kind of abundance for yourself, okay? Or maybe 
you're going to go into a new business or maybe this is a new job opportunity. Maybe there's a new uh, business you want to, you know, go into and create. Whatever it is, you definitely have the tools at your disposal and you can manifest ex everything that you want, Virgo, okay? So be inspired, okay? Um, next, we have the Eight of Cups. The Queen of Cups in reverse. So we have the Queen and the King here on the board, along with the Three of Wands. So to me, this is saying that You've decided to let go of, um, you know, let go of being um, overly sensitive or um, somewhat, um, what's the word? You don't, you, you've decided to let go of, you know, behaviors that wasn't getting anywhere in this relationship or at this job and because of that you know that this is all going to work out you've decided to let down your guard um change your behavior or the other person right maybe they changed their behavior maybe they changed their controlling or or smothering ways and um that allows you to let down your guard and you're expecting the best. You're expecting your ships to come in. You're expecting to receive what it is that you're manifesting. And it looks like it's all good. Okay. This could also speak to, this Eight of Cups could also speak to you studying, um, studying and working hard on what you want to manifest for yourself in regards to a new job, new position, or a new business. Okay. Okay, um, that's what I'm getting from that. The next, what else, the last cards that we have out here is the um, Three of Wands again, right? Which speaks of progress, expansion, waiting for, and foresight, right? Um, the Eight of Wands reverse clarified it with the Ace of Swords. So you have one, two, three aces, four, I'm sorry, four. You have every ace on the board. You have the ace of swords, the ace of wands, the ace of cups, and the ace of pentacles. So, um, every sign is out on the board. I don't want to um, go, you know, go into the signs because really um, for me, um, I feel like any person can take on any of these energies. So I didn't go over each car. But Virgo, you have the sun twice. You have every ace on the board. Okay? You have the ten of cups. And you have between worlds. I mean, this is going to be a beautiful, blissful, adventurous new time. That doesn't mean that you should get all up in your head about it and be you know, um, want everything to be perfect and rigidly, you know, this is this and that is that. No, go with the flow, explore, explore, and um, let your guard down, enjoy this new cycle. This right here tells me that there might have been some type of blockage, um, there might have been some type of blockage, but now you know what your truth is and you're going to manifest, expand, and um, expect for that. You know, wait on those, these great opportunities here, Virgo. You know, this is for November 2019. I know the reading was late, but oh my goodness, this is a wonderful spread. This is a wonderful spread, and I'm so excited for you, Virgo. I'm so excited. This Ten of Cups, as like we don't know what Ten of Cups means, right? But it just brought me to this family here, right? The children, the mother, the father, the new home, and, 
you know, walking that path to your happiness, okay? Stepping out and walking towards what it is that you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a few romance angel cards just to bring out some advice for you, okay, Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Crosswatcher, you know that all of the information in that spread could have been um, transposed and vice versa, okay? Spirit, please bring forth messages of love, truth, and guidance for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November 2019. Please bring forth messages of love, truth, and guidance for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of November 2019. Please bring forth messages of love, truth, and guidance for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The first card out is let go of control issues. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. Go with the flow. Enjoy. Because you've already made a decision that this is what you want, right? Or if you haven't yet, you will. From what this, if this read, this spread was for you, you will receive and manifest everything that you wanted. Okay? An offer is going to come in and you're going to accept it because it's everything that you wanted. Okay? So this card heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other yes communication is the key right everyone can get on the same page reach compromises um when we communicate right and vibrate at our highest uh level we we get what we um give out right let me get another card. Virgo, please. Someone rising Venus. Ooh. She flipped over. Wedding. The wedding card. This situation involves marriage. Yes. Someone looks very nervous. <laughs> he looks very nervous in this card, right? That might be the conversation you need to have about, you know, what it is that you expect in the future. But don't be rigid about it. Just have a conversation. You never know. They may want the same thing in the long term, right? That Ten of Cups wish fulfillment, emotional wish fulfillment. Let me get three more cards for Virgo, please. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yes, conversation. Um, meeting each other halfway. Compromising, right? You're leaving all of this stormy weather behind and walking into a brand new day, right? A brand new day with someone from the past. A brand new day with someone you've been with for a long time. A brand new day with a brand new person. Give that relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Wherever, you know, if this is your story, then you know where you fit in, right? Let me get two more cards for Virgo, please. Some more lines and Venus. Oh, this jumped out. True love. Oh, yes. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yes, I love it. 
we all deserve love, right? We all deserve the best love we can possibly get. Oh, this looks so wonderful for everybody. One more card for Virgo. There's so many people who have been guided to watch this video, so I'm sure that these messages, you know, will resonate some portion of it, okay? One more card for Virgo, please. And moon by and Phoenix. One more card for Virgo. Oh, oh wow, they gave me two cards for Virgo. They should give you two cards. This is this but this reading um came pretty pretty late. So the card that fell out is a lot passion. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yes. Yes. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That last card that flipped over here, it says separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, you know, this might have been from the past. There might have been a past separation, right? I don't really feel like that's coming up in the future. But again, there are so many different people who have been drawn to this reading. Um, you know, I'm not, I can't say that everyone is going to have, you know, um, every single thing resonate with them. But this might have been something from the past, right? Give your relationship a try. Give your relationship a chance. Have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations and let go of control issues, Virgo. Well, this is what I have for you. I'm super excited for those that it resonates with. And um, please like, subscribe, share this video. It's greatly appreciated. If you'd like to donate to my channel, the information is below. Soon I will be posting information about personal reading. Virgo, it's been a pleasure. Until next time, take care of yourselves, okay? I love you to pieces. Namaste.